America's Cup organizers are falling short on their pledge to raise private funding for the event this summer, and that's causing some concern that San Francisco taxpayers will end up footing more of the bill. ABC 7 News reporter Mark Matthews shows you why one supervisor who helped cut the America's Cup deal now says he didn't do a good enough job of protecting the city. Remember when the America's Cup arrived and Larry Ellison talked about 14 teams coming here and competing for the Cup? And the economic projection was over a billion dollars? Well, that's not happening. Counting Ellison's team, Oracle, there will be four teams competing. And the $1.4 billion economic benefit is now projected to be somewhere around half that amount. And organizers admit that private fundraising for the event has failed to meet projections which means that the city could have to make up the difference. The America's Cup organizing committee pledged that to us that they would raise money to prevent that from happening to the general fund and our city services, and now they're not living up to the pledge. Supervisor John Avalos is calling for a hearing tomorrow to get an update on where the city stands. Michael Martin is the city's America's Cup project director. We are um, well on our way to making uh, this deal pencil for the general fund. I mean, it Martin says, worst case scenario, the city may be on the hook for three and a half million dollars, but the economic benefit? He says that's somewhere north of 780 million. So as you see, with the fewer teams and the fewer spectators, we've downsized that, but it's still um, significant. I mean, 800 million dollars is not anything to, to shake your head at. No, I think it's a big benefit for certain people and not for, not for everyday people. That's my, that's my concern. Avalos says, yes, the America's Cup, even a much scaled down America's Cup, will be an economic benefit to some. The downtown, the port, Moscone Center, things like that, our hotels. Um, but in terms of everyday people getting their boats lifted, not as much as we, we would expect. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll go to John Avalos's district and talk with people there about their expectations of the America's Cup and whether or not they feel city money should be spent on the event. Reporting from the Embarcadero, Mark Matthews, ABC 7 News.